All right, so now that we have set up the application, we have an application, we have a container, we have some data in there, we're gonna start creating our interface. And before we jump into it, it's important to kind of plan it before, right? You don't wanna just uh, go heads first into developments. Uh, it's a, can be a mistake, when, especially when you're doing those complex interfaces. You wanna just slow down, plan it, and just agree, even with yourself, or if you have colleagues, it's even better. Just make sure that you have a plan for yourself on how you're gonna set it up, because it's gonna save you tons of time to not go back into it and, and you know just kind of accumulate technical debts. When you're starting off developing an app, and you don't think about the technical debt that you'll be building, but technical debt is something that you accrue, especially at the beginning, because you haven't planned enough, and experience will also play into that, but just, uh, just a thought here. All right, so this is the plan for the sprint one. We want to get the layouts done. So we're gonna create the parent interface, which will be a landing page. We're gonna use a pattern for that uh, to do the navigations. So you'll see that we're gonna be using a pattern, which is super good. We just need to kind of drag and drop it and it's gonna save us a ton of time. And then we're gonna be able to customize the pattern here. So we're gonna customize the values. I'm gonna create an overview page, as you'll see, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like in a mockup. And then we're gonna add the overview to the routing of the um, navigation. Again, that might not make a lot of sense here, but it will make sense when you see it directly. And then we'll create the sub interfaces as placeholders, so the children interfaces. So what it's gonna look like is, basically we're gonna have something like this. So this is the overview, the, the high level kind of overview of when you go into this, uh, you go into and you, you, you see this uh, interface. So here what we have, we have a couple of things. We have here, this is the, the pattern that we're gonna use. So this is navigation panel here. We're gonna click overview, accounts, transactions. That's gonna change what's displayed on the right here. And you can see we have a parent interface, which will be the landing page. So here we're gonna have landing page and that will be the actual interface that we have, uh, we're gonna be building. This is gonna be, I'm gonna duplicate this. This is gonna be the, the, the pattern here. So, you know, the navigation pattern. So it's gonna be a, almost like, well, it's gonna be a, like a card. I'm just gonna put this here. And we'll assume, I mean, for this use case, we'll just be building the overview page. So we're not gonna have an accounts page. We're not gonna have a transactions. We're gonna have an overview of all those elements. So accounts, goals, and transactions. So here, what we're gonna have as well is we need a way to basically differentiate between what do I see when I click on this button and when I click on this button? Well, of course, what changes is on the right. And so what you want to do is on this left column, on this right column, sorry, you want to have um, essentially a sub interface here. So a interface within the landing page, which will be our overview page. And overview in the sense that it corresponds to the button here that we click. So I'm gonna call this here the overview page. And that's gonna be a child, a child of the landing page. Now we're not done here because you know we're gonna to need to create this placeholder, but we're just gonna have even sub interfaces here. And that's the power of low code, right? You create those components and then you can reuse them in different uh, places. So what we're gonna have is, let me choose a different style here. We're gonna have this here be, well, actually I don't even need to because all of those will be actually interfaces. So we're gonna have, we're gonna have our accounts um, overview or page, whatever we want to call it. Um, here we'll have our goals overview. And here we're going to have our transactions overview as well. Oops. Transactions. And so for this sprint, we just want to set and create the foundation. And then in the next sprint, we'll actually be building out this interface to you to, to actually create what it what it looks like. Let me give you just a, uh, a sneak peek of what's going to be uh, what's going to what's going to look like. Basically, we're going to be creating this. So essentially, here what we have is we have an overview, we have the accounts, but if I click on here, it doesn't show anything. So what we just have is just the overview page that we need to create. And as you can see here, I'm going to have the accounts table uh, card. Sorry goals here and transactions. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and in our application here, we're gonna create our first interface, which will be the landing page. Uh, so that's gonna be our personal finance landing page. So interface, we're gonna create a new interface, I'm gonna call it personal finance landing page. So it's really the, the landing page which welcomes the user. 
I'm going to create here. So as I'm creating here, um, you know, I've got this structure here. I can start to actually see what kind of patterns I have in the palette here. So this is something that is uh, really useful for developers. Um, it allows you to save so much time in trying to create some different components. So here, when you're finding some inspiration or trying to just you know, save time, just go to the patterns and you'll have a lot of things to use. So the cool thing here is that if I click on navigation, I can see that you know the actual preview of what this pattern will look like. So this navigation pattern here, lightweight, looks pretty good. You've got, you can see, you have a couple of other, other ones here, subsections, uh, collapsible, uh, lightweight, just the navigation like this one. This is fine. We're just going to use this one here, lightweight, just to make it easy. And so this drops here already. This is looking great because I can actually click on here and see what's happening here. So we're going to go ahead and try to change what's being displayed here because what we have on the left here, we need to have uh, accounts, um, transactions, and another one. Let me just verify. Uh, yeah, overview, accounts, transactions. So the first one will be overview and then we're going to have accounts and then transactions. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the expression mode to change those things. And the way it's set up here, I'm going to try to simplify this and explain what's happening here, is that in our local variables, we're declaring the lightweight nav sections, which is the list of text that needs to be iterated through to create those cards here. So we're not creating one card per navigation. We just have the names here because the logic then is the same. And so what we do is that we store which index is active of the navigation section in this local variable here. So that's how it works here is that right now by default it's one, but then if I click on here, I can see that the value, and I can see this on the local variables on the right here, the value here is changing. So this is the value that changes to tell Appian, well, now we've clicked on number two, number three, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm going to simplify this here. I'm just going to change already the names and this will be in a list. So I'm going to have overview, uh, accounts and transactions. And of course you could add as many as you want. I'm just going to go ahead and click on test and that should already change the values here. So that's pretty cool. And what happens here, you can see what's happening here is line 18 here. You should have the same numbers of lines as, as I have here. We're iterating through the lightweight nav sections and we're creating one card layout per navigation sections. That's why you're getting, we have three elements in this list. We've got three elements here, three cards here. So as I said before, we're not going to care about the accounts here and the transactions. That's going to take too much time. We're just going to focus on the overview page here. So that's what we're going to have to do. That's all good. We're going to be able to actually uh, fill in and add stuff to this sub page here. And the way we're going to do it, if we look at this here, the way it is being handled, it's a bit, it's a bit below. So content column, this is the column on the right that we're going to be uh, referencing. So this is the, you know, we get the, the navigation column here on the left, and then we have the content column here. And so the way it works is that you have this function choose, which basically goes ahead and displays, depending on the index of the navigation section, the actual content that you need to display. So here, what we want to do is to have to change this first section, which will be the overview. So you could also use something like match, um, you know, which is a more recent function that uh, is a, works a bit differently. But here, that's going to be fine. We can use this. And I'm just going to comment here to explain what's happening is this section layout um, will display the overview page. So that's what we need to change here is in the contents, this is going to be the content of our overview page. So we need to create a page for that, right? So I'm going to go ahead and click on, go back into my designer. I'm going to create a new interface here, and that's going to be my overview page. So the displays an overview of the personal finance. That's great. All right, so now that I have this overview page, what I want to do is already start to create the structure below, which is going to be the actual individual element elements of the card. So if I go back into my mockup here, I've got my overview page. So this has been created. This, um, you know, 
those dotted lines here. And now I need to have this structure here. So we've got an accounts overview at the top, a goals overview and a transactions overview. So that's great. But uh, of course, what I need to do is to have a list of components because that's going to be how I'm going to be showing uh, the those cards and then a columns here, column layouts that I'm going to need to have. So that's all good. What I can do is already drag and drop, sorry, in the overview page, I can already drag and drop a columns layout. And I just need to have two of them. And then what I'll do is if I go back into expression mode, so right now I should have just a columns layout with two columns. What will go, will happen here is that here I will have my interface to display the overview, the accounts overview here. So I'm gonna go ahead and create those three interfaces. So one accounts overview and one goals overview and one transactions overview. And you know just to, to be able to actually uh, uh, create those, um, those interfaces. So I'm going to go ahead and click on new interface and click on accounts overview. So displays an overview of the accounts create here. And of course, in the next sprint, what we'll do is that we'll be creating those and modifying those um, interfaces. So that's all good. We're gonna create this one, which will be the goals overview. So it displays an overview of goals. And then we're gonna have the transactions overview. So by the way, if those names of interfaces are not exactly the ones that you use, that's okay. As long as you stay consistent internally uh, in your use of those uh, interfaces. The purpose of this whole course, by the way, is for you to make those your own, right? So if they're not exactly to the right character, the names, I don't mind it, as long as you understand what you're doing in this context here. Transactions and overview displays a, an overview of Cool, so create those. So now I've got those three interfaces created. I can actually close them because we're not gonna do anything for this print on them. And I'm gonna go back into my goal uh, off overview page, sorry. And what I'm gonna do is at the top, call the uh, accounts overview. So the PF accounts overview, I'm gonna put a, a comma after this here. And then in there, I'm gonna be able to actually create an, in the contents, um, this is the first to so the left here. This is going to be the left, which will be the um, goal overview. So that's going to be the goals overview. And here we're going to have the accounts overview, not the accounts. Apologies, it would be the transactions overview. And so here, what we have is that there is an issue because the column is not doesn't like it uh, if there is in an, an empty uh, value. So we're just going to be able to actually add. What we're going to do is just add a card layout in all those three uh, interfaces. So I'm going to open the accounts overview, the goals, and a transactions overview, and I'm just going to drag and drop a card, which we'll be able to modify in the next sprint. It just needs to be a card here. So I'm just going to drag and drop really crudely a card just to have something, a placeholder in those interfaces. And of course, I'm not going to forget to save. So just put the cards in there. I'm going to save here. And now if I test this overview page, I should have something and doesn't it doesn't let me know if there's a problem. Okay, so now if I go back to my landing page, so this is the personal finance landing page. If I click on test here, it doesn't show anything because we haven't plugged it in. That's all good. Uh, so in the landing page, what we have to do is in the section layout. So the first section layout here, we have to call the our overview page, which will be the first one, which is called in the contents here. So if everything is fine, I should be able to actually, I'm going to remove this list here. So I should just be able to actually call right away the overview page. And that should show me, there we go, the cards here, which we'll need to uh, kind of smooth up here. So right now we have created five interfaces in total. If I go back into my list of interfaces, we've got our landing page here, which is the parent page. We've got our overview page, which will be one of many pages 
uh, in, in corresponding to the navigation sections of the landing page. And then we have the transactions overview, the accounts overview, and the goals overview, which correspond to a subcard of the overview page. So we're going to stop here because if we look at our subtasks here, uh, this is what we have done. In the next print, what we'll do is to configure and finish up the, the dashboards. So essentially, we're going to make those elements here come to life with um, cool graphs. And uh, yeah, it's going to be good. All right. So let's get to the next sprint then.